this competition here tonight. Tottenham got to win if they are to have any hopes of qualifying for the final. Alongside me, Ken Moncal, who's enjoyed the last five minutes of not having to talk or do anything, he literally is <laughs> catching his breath to put it mildly. How are you now? Not bad, you're not wrong. I needed that uh, five minute rest. It was heavier coming up the steps than playing the game. What a start for oh, Arsenal! Great goal. Ian Selly. Good start there. Great strike. Caught by surprise. Well, Arsenal failed to score a single goal in the Masters last year. And wouldn't you believe it, they've scored in a matter of seconds in their opening game against Tottenham Hotspur. Great strike there, but like I said, nobody was closing him down, so he thought, why not have a pot? And it's 1-0 for the Arsenal. And a possible counter-attack oh, here. Lovely touch by uh, Jimmy Carter. Michael Thomas. And he's going to say bursting through the midfield. Classic line. <laughs> Here's Winterburn, Oops. played still in that game in 89, he has, hasn't he? Lovely play. And he's continued his run, Nigel Love, Winterburn has got him in two! Football. Oh, I say, they're rolling back the years now, Michael Thomas, created yeah. by Nigel Winterburn. Fantastic, total football. They must have learned that from Dennis Bergkamp. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Arsene awesome. Wenger's been working with these boys, I think, in the last couple of weeks. Well, what a start for Arsenal. Ray Parler was saying how they've struggled to score goals in recent years. They've struggled to have a forward, a striker who scores goals. Well, it's two midfield players who scored for them today. Michael Thomas, who all football fans should know about. He's so much part of 20th century history. But Ian Selly, one or two others might not know. He was a young player who came through the Arsenal youth system. Got a lot of bad luck with a broken leg at Arsenal, they went to he Fulham did. and also had a broken leg. A good little player though, yep. very talented. Yeah, he's still playing as well, non-league football. Wow, that's certainly rocked Tottenham, but oh. they nearly got a, a chance very. there. Stimson was in there and Arsenal just managed to get it clear and Nigel Winterburn coolly gets it away for Arsenal. Very calmly done there, but in control, aren't they, Arsenal? Well, they just come out of the blocks, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Doesn't see a cagey first couple of minutes, but not the case here. No, and it makes all the difference when you two goals up, so you can keep the ball, let the opponent uh, do the work. Well, Arsenal have a wretched record against Tottenham at these Masters. They've won just twice in ten meetings. Only twice. So they're on a mission then, are they, today? Yeah. They've got a lot of history to rectify. They look quite sharp, they mean business, Arsenal, aren't they? Closing people down, winning the ball. And then when you get it, keep it. And Tottenham now need at least three goals, maybe more if they are to uh, keep alive hopes of qualification. But no, it's Arsenal's playing lovely football. They really keep are moving it yes. well. Arsenal's a lot of space here, and it's a chance for a third. Oh. And well, Jimmy Carter was unlucky with the rebounds. Kenny Carter, who played for Arsenal and for Liverpool, signed by George Graham. And Kenny Dalglish at Anfield started his career at Millwall. Come on, Clive. The old uh, left Tuka. He's looking, he's looking. Quick left foot, yes, good pass. Oh, lovely. Lovely right goal. Dean Austin. Big lovely open goal. space in that far side of the goal, and he found it. Lovely strike. Guided right into the corner there. Dean Austin, who was uh, Brendan Rodgers' assistant at Watford last season and uh, has moved with him to Reading. What's going on there? Change. Here's Parla. No one pulling it in for us. It wasn't the best of shots by Parla, but sometimes you can use those Backboards. I said there's an extra man, for sure. It's been a, been a terrific start for Arsenal. Let's hear from one of their players, Chris White. He's with David. Well, Chris, you couldn't have wished for a better start. Oh, it gives you a bit of confidence, you know, two nice early goals, uh, two good finishes. Second, second goal is a nice move, nice passing move. And uh, you can see the, the players are playing a nice bit of confidence. All the sweeter against your arch rival. I guess okay, so, you could say that. Well, Chris, you're good luck. Thanks a lot, too. You certainly could say that. Parla. 
got options to his uh, right hand side. He's going himself. Cheeky curler. Tottenham are still in the game, Bill, but they're taking it easy by the looks of it. Oh, we saw with you, didn't we, in the last game? You were 3 1 down with a few minutes to go and still managed to squeak a point. That's how we like to play, give them a false sense of hope. <laughs> Ars is very much in control at the moment, passing the ball, keeping possession. Oh, top of the well, good interception. As you to burn that clearance. This is Kasky. Some Hillier, stepping into their Jason. challenges. Yeah, David Healy, as we said earlier, is a, a postman. A, a fire, postman, fireman, fireman, yes, yeah, fireman. Say, a fireman. <laughs> Not as crazy as having yeah, a, a, a pancake shot, really, it's, is it's, it? It's not bad. Did you mention Pancake House there? <laughs> is it still I, managed, I, managed, I managed to have one, actually. It's called to the Town Pancake House in Delft, if anyone's in the area. I'm lucky that Clive. Whereabouts is that in Holland? That's in Delft. Blue pottery. The familiar paintings. Why pancakes? Why open the pancake shop? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone lost pancakes. <laughs> Looks like one or two players out there have been eating uh, quite a few pancakes. They could do with a few energy. <laughs> Here's Darren Kasky for Tottenham Hotspur. It's just quietened down a little bit after that explosive start. Where Arsenal raced into a two-goal lead. They did, not it? It's all quieted down suddenly. But Tottenham is playing very uh, calmly, waiting for the opportunity there. Keep possession of the ball. That's the name of the game though in here, because once you give it away, especially with one of the guys of Arsenal sniffing around the goal. Well, here's Kasky dropping oh, the shoulder. Oh, should have done better there. <laughs> Tackle there, very <Ray> bad. <laughs> oh, the ref gave a free kick. Might have let play go on there. Tottenham created a little opportunity for themselves. Proper midfielder, huh? never lose it. <laughs> Quickly oh, taken. Cheeky. Very cheeky there. And David Hillier tries to bring it away for Arsenal. Winterburn. They're not in the rush, Arsenal, are they? Well, it's a danger sometimes, isn't it, to uh, protect leads in this type of yeah. football. It is. But there's one, one way to go. We're still in the first half. One little mistake, and they're back into it, Tottenham. Jimmy Carter. Hilly has gone into the penalty area for Arsenal. Picked up by Selly. Oh, cheeky. And that's half time. And Arsenal lead thanks to Ian Selly's wonderful strike early on. And then Michael Thomas <laughs> tapping home after a sweet move. And the gun is starting well, but Tottenham have hit back. It's like they're putting in the reverse Arsenal because the police that it. it's half time because they actually look knackered, don't they? Yes, great strike there. Unlucky the goalie. Right, the Winterburn, great football, second one, total football, lovely goal. And Thomas finished with there in the end, but Tottenham came back with a great curler there. Lovely goal. Well, the Arsenal fans were jubilant before, they're looking slightly uh, apprehensive, those ones are anyway. But Tottenham are not out of it, it's only one goal difference, huh? Got to go for it, haven't they? Eight no minutes choice. left possibly in these Masters, unless there's a flurry of goals that can take them to the final. Join in. Darren Kasky. You've got to use the extra men, haven't you? Yeah, they've certainly, uh, they've certainly done that at times, Arsenal. Because you're tempted, because they're leaving one on their half, so you're tempted to mark the guy, but you've got to take the advantage by putting the extra men on their half. So and try to press on for that equaliser. Here's Kasky. Well done. Kasky again. Arsenal with everybody behind the ball. Tottenham's got to get the extra men in there. There we go. Because you're not going to score goals that way. Well, a lot of these Arsenal players remember how to defend Leeds. They do. Clean sheets, they've conceded one, but 
Not many Arsenal teams will concede two under George Graham, got? and many of them played under George Graham. Leading the man, making the tackle there, Michael Thomas. And the right, though. David George. Hillier getting involved as well, and <laughs> a bit of rough and tumble. Oops. As the referee called this, free kick Good Tottenham. Tottenham. Edinburgh, Parler charges it down. Arsenal certainly should be the fresher of the two teams. This is their first game. But they don't look good, do they? At the moment, they're giving everything in the first five seconds. <laughs> Have a go. How lucky. Statham with the shot. Vince Bartram with the save. Winterburn. Carter. I don't think we've seen Tony Woodcock yet, have we? We haven't, now. Secret weapon. Doesn't look like a long time, six minutes when you're out there. Six minutes is like, <laughs> like half an hour. <laughs> it certainly did to Fulham, didn't it, in their game as their lead yeah. evaporated. Here's yeah. Parler. Arsenal trying to extend their lead to 3 1. But in another hurry, keep passing the ball. Hillier. Hillier going for a run. Unlucky. Carter. Come on, Clive, have a go. To go left Chuka. Oh, unlucky. Try to pass the ball instead of shooting it. Vince Bartram completes the clearance. And again, Clive Wilson. Can't skill the ball. Do you want to commentate and I'll summarise? <laughs> you, you could do. You could do. <laughs> I don't you got, have you quite as a distinguished playing career as you have got me going <laughs> <laughs> Got my breath back. <laughs> Less than five minutes to go. I'm only kidding. I know, I know. <laughs> well, Tottenham have got to go for it. They need two goals, and they need two goals pretty quickly. Arsenal, happy with the way things are going. It would mean a point in their final game against West Ham. We'll get them through to the final. In fact, they would have possibly have to win, wouldn't they, depending on what the scoreline is here. West Ham winning their first game by four goals to two. They look quite fresh, didn't they, West Ham? They look so very good, yeah. So the QPR, actually. I think everybody's been impressed by West Ham. Here's Carter, finding Parler. Quickly forward to Michael Thomas. Carter again. Parler. Thomas! Yes! Ah, lovely goal. 3 1. Total football Second again. Second goal for yeah. Michael Thomas. Great pass in football there by Arsenal. And then a great finish from uh, Thomas. You have to go to the ice. Because the ir irony is with Michael Thomas, he ended up living on Merseyside, ended up <laughs> playing for Liverpool and has represented them in these Masters as well. But he's certainly doing a job for Arsenal tonight. And Austin again, can he revive oh. Tottenham? And yes. it should be, it is. 3-2. Steve Sedgley. Done well there, a bit of block of the green. A nice little touch, left to go. You keep coming back, Tottenham. Let's have a word with uh, Justin Edinburgh, he's with David. Justin, this one's very finely poised. How do you go about it last few minutes? Well, I think we've just got to make sure we don't get beat. So we've, uh, we've got to throw caution to the wind. Just try and get an extra man in there off and uh, get a short chance when we can, you know. So it's going to be tough, but we'll give it a go until the end. But it uh, looks like we'll be leaving early. Good man. Thanks very much. It just appears that it's a face-saving exercise. They don't want to lose to the old enemy. He sounded very positive, didn't he? Looks like we're going home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a manager as well, isn't he, uh, in non-league football? <laughs> Imagine his <laughs> half-time team talks. <laughs> Chance for another Arsenal goal. Oh, it should have been, shouldn't it? Jimmy Carter. Good effort.
Sedgley going forward and Winterburn clears. This is Michael Thomas who's used the ball really well tonight. So too Ray Parler. Carter to his right hand side. Yeah, they're definitely the stronger team there. Arsenal keeping the ball. Let the clock run down. A little heavy, shall we say, as it goes into the uh, the first tier here at Wembley Arena. What's the time wasting there? <laughs> well, it's just relentless, isn't it? The ball comes back really quickly. It does, actually. Very rare. <laughs> you quick. have to stop the, uh, the clock. Sedgley sizing it up with that left foot, blocked by Parler. Arsenal trying to win the resultant ball, they have done with Parler. And Tony Woodcox on this could be his first touch. Gives this it back well. to Parler. Lovely one to unlucky, oh, unlucky Parler. Try to pick out Tony Woodcock. Oh, what an introduction to Masters football that would have been. Woodcock is back defending now as Tottenham have one final minute. One flurry forward, Darren Kasky. Oh, oh. <laughs> a push on the old man there. He looks in good shape though. He looks Running in very good shape. It. Well, he's desperate to play. He wanted to play last year but then got a back injury at the last minute. But he is uh, really keen to be out there and be part of what is possibly an Arsenal victory, but it might be different now. Here's Clive Wilson for 3-3! Three, three. Oh, lovely goal, lovely right goal. Right at the death, Arsenal denied the victory. Lovely goal there. They keep coming back, Tottenham, keep telling you. They're still live in them yet. Lovely goal, though. Now that's a real kick in the teeth for Arsenal. Tottenham at least have a face-saving draw, it seems, in their final game against the old enemy. And Arsenal will be kicking themselves. They've led from the first few seconds to the last few oh, seconds. Great effort there, Nigel. <laughs> and in the end, have been beaten. And how frustrated, frustrated they will be. Clive Wilson, another goal for him. Michael Thomas scored two. Arsenal are still in it, but they've missed a trick here in this game. And, well, they will have to now beat... West Ham in their final match if they are to qualify. Meanwhile, Jim, as you know, Tottenham are out. Guys, Tottenham are out, and that was a brief.